Hi guys, welcome. This is our daily reading for Wednesday, October 5th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we are all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. In the end, is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding that wave, or ignoring the wave? It's always your choice in the end. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have time, try to check out the links I provide below and show your love and support to the artists and musicians and see if there's further signs and symbols for this reading for you in those links. Okay, so let's begin today with um, the Life Purpose Oracle cards. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for Wednesday, October 5th, 2016, for the highest, greatest good of all. Also, if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. All right, let's see what we have for the day. Energies and focus. That one is leadership. I always think of Joan of Arc when I see this. I feel like leadership and spirituality and determination and leading by example, leading with your heart, um, uh, lessons, understanding the value in your lessons, understanding the value in um, everything you've gone through to bring you where you are, to bring you the strength that you have to be able to lead. I think of the four. I think of power. And I, I see innocence here. She's so innocent and so powerful at the same time. You know, take charge of this situation. So even if you're feeling vulnerable, you know, misunderstood, um, maybe you're the only one that recognizes your signs and your symbols, um, you know, the, the numbers and the things that make sense to you, that connect you to spirit, connect you to your path, your journey, your adventure, your um, purpose, your, the thing you're, you're standing up for. What is that for you? You know, is it love? I feel like it's love here. It's spirit. It's spirituality. It's... Um, truth. I see compassion and um, empathy here too. I feel like this woman or man, it's a general reading, understands others, you know, battles, um, really not wanting to fight battles, you know, seeing the bigger picture in a situation, like doing what you have to do but uh, trying to avoid battles at all costs, maybe? I feel like she's surrendering, like she's not fighting, you know? She's ready to fly, ready to find peace. She's in prayer, she's connected to spirit, she's meditating, even though she has on armor, you know? She's ready to take charge of a situation, but I feel like she's finding a different way. I feel like it's through love. Surrender, growth, opportunity, changing direction. Um, I feel like she's bathed in this light, the warmth of the sun. So take charge of this situation today. Do what you have to do. 
Um, I feel like you have to go inside of yourself. Maybe start to take some of your armor off. Maybe that'll clear your head a little bit so you can see things clearly. You know, feel the elements on your face. Feel the sun on your face. Um, feel the breath in your body today. And um, I feel like the answer comes through peace today. And leadership is found through peace, through um, like truth of heart today, innocence. Um, all right, let's get another card. Vincenzo is eating here. He he was jumping in his water dish before, so he has like a wet head. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna set this here. Can you do that? Okay, I'm gonna go to the top deck and let's pull a card for the day and get more clarity on leadership. Take a charge of a situation, um, understanding the energies of the day and how to cha take charge of that situation. You are a messy boy today. You're a messy boy, Vinny. Messy, man. All right, let's get another card for the day. Taking charge of the situation, leadership, leading by example. And that's interference. Okay, so interference sometimes comes in our life to change our direction, to block us from something that wasn't good, to block us from the direction we're not supposed to go, to give us a little bit of pressure so that we think about things differently. It's an eight. So it makes me, it sounds weird, but eight actually makes me think of October. So I feel like power comes back in October. Like it's, um, you know, after it's either like diving deep into something or coming back to the surface or finding that center point. I feel like uh, it's like a scale. There's always tension. You know, it's always like if you drop too much off of your scale at once, you're going to fall down into the depths of something and face, you know, the dark waters. If you let something go, you might release yourself up really quick. You know, I feel like that release is almost like taking off your blindfold, um, releasing pressure, seeing the truth in a situation. Um, understanding that things that were blocking you before possibly came for your growth, you know, for you to get stronger with something, for you to look at something differently, for you to face fears, for you to walk away from something that wasn't right for you. I feel like with the Eight of Swords, it's when you have so much going on in your head, you're so overwhelmed by something, but it's only you keeping you from moving around, from changing that cycle, from changing directions. You, you still have to continue. I just, I feel like it's like, like this. You know, like a figure eight. You could be up here and then you hit this center point here where it's all balanced. But sometimes you have to go the opposite way and experience underneath. Even like maybe somebody else's point of view over here and that's what's blocking you or somebody else's situation is blocking you from seeing the truth. But with the eight of swords, it takes you taking charge, you know, of your situation and taking off your own <laughs> blindfolds taking off, you know, uh, what's keeping you in the dark and finding a way through, a different way through. It starts with you. It's uh, getting off the merry-go-round a little bit and finding a different exit, finding a different entrance, finding, um, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's six days or six months or something, maybe even six years that you've been working on that bring you into balance. I see Jupiter here and I see Gemini here. So um, I feel like it's bringing you balance between, like I look at this and I think of like the two hemispheres of your brain here. You know, the, your right and your left working together finally to create a solution for these problems or these situations or these uh, issues that came up. So 
whatever issues these are, whatever lessons these were, they're all different. Look at how different all of these swords are. You know, they're all different shapes. They're all different style, but these two are the same. You know, these two work together somehow, like the two sides of you, to find a way out, to find a way through, to find what's different about you, you know, to find what you can do differently, how you can see the situation differently, to grow from it. I feel like there's a combo here of also the balance between the spectrum of light. I feel like the, I feel like the Toth deck, you know, represents the energies of nature. And uh, there's always a lot of signs and symbols here. So when I see the purple and I see the red, I think of like infrared and ultraviolet, like beyond the spectrum of what you can understand and how you can take that band of light. And I feel like when you put it together and you put it here, those two energetic opposites are somehow together. Maybe like a magnet, you know, um, uh, a completion point, a center point, something where they're opposite and they work together. So I feel like there's a connection also not only between your right and left hemispheres, but between your higher self and your root chakra thing, you know, the purple and the red going on. And I see like iron, silver, and gold somehow, maybe copper as metals in this. Um, so maybe there, there was like metal, maybe there was like a shield protection, you know, but you have to also look at it that like it can protect your energy in and it, it can also magnify energy out. If you have, a, you know, if you have um, a suit of armor made of gold, you're pro I feel like you're protected and amplified by the sun and your energy is both protected and amplified out somehow whatever your particular particular energetic frequency is you know whatever color your aura is whatever pattern you are you know whatever light you radiate is special and that is magnified out like gold it's pure it's perfect it carries energy from one point to another point without losing any energy um so power, you know, energy, focus, compassion. I still feel like there's innocence in taking something off here, exposing something. Um, uh, tr I see the sword and I see truth and I see the castle in the background and I think of a kingdom like uh, your kingdom, your home, um, the place of rest. Um, all right, I'm going to go to the Native American Tarot and pull another card for Wednesday on leadership, the Eight of Swords, um, seasons coming back around, facing fears, finding another way out, finding growth in all of these lessons and deciding to maybe leave a situation on your own, like it's taking charge of what you're thinking not getting lost in what you're thinking, not getting lost in those cycles, but doing something different, moving out of the cycle maybe into a bigger, better cycle. All right, let's get another card for the day. Sand painter, and then we have another eight. So today is about power um, in October the 10th month. All right. Eight is eight of pentacles, eight of, um, shields, eight of earth. So that's, I feel like that's the protection. Those are the shields. Those are the lessons. That's time. It's something you put energy into slowly and it might just wash away. You know, it might just go away in a flash when the water comes and all of that time and energy you put into that sand painting is on. But is it? Is it? You know, because you put effort into something, you learned something. You, I feel like there's, when you do sand and something that washes away, it's like music. It's fleeting. It's being invested in that moment, that moment to connect to the now, to spirit, to create something in the moment. Um, 
that I feel like it creates an energy field. It creates a lesson. It creates a, a moment for you to go into yourself. I feel like creativity here and something that you create that could go away but doesn't because that energy that you created means something. It's valuable. You might have to leave it behind, but maybe you made a map. I feel like back here is a map. You know, you're creating a map for the bigger picture so you can see above something. So those coming by from far away can see what you're doing. It's like you're magnifying your thoughts, you know, down here in the sand and, you know, making your own signs, your own symbols, your own, uh, yeah, I feel like it's like a sign, like this way out, this way in, this is the way to go. You're figuring it out yourself. You're putting the puzzle together. And when you're done, you leave it behind. Maybe you're leaving it for somebody else to see. Maybe that it's not sand, it's rock, and it'll last a while. Um, but I feel like this is a map, you know? You either see the bigger picture of something and you're making it small, or you're starting with something small, like a thought, and creating something and amplifying that out. And then you have to walk away with eight. You have to leave something behind, you're done. You know, you get to the end of this sign and you're finished. You're not gonna make it a big, you're not gonna keep going and do the whole landscape here, or maybe you are. Maybe you're only on this little red section here. And the next, you have to leave this behind, you have to go and you have to gather some new colors and dyes and pigments, and you're gonna do that green section next. But you had to finish something to start something else, to begin that new color, that new spectrum, that new journey, that new start, um, that new chance. I feel like it's just seeing a different end of the spectrum. I still see this figure eight, guys. So if you're moving around, maybe over here you see the red, over here you see the green, over here you see the blue, and each point on that um, cycle is a different point that you're working on that creates value, that creates structure, that creates, um, yeah, I see power and stability and like leadership magnified out. I feel like, you know, this circulate somehow with others. It, it creates stability in your, your life. And, um, I feel like it connects to others somehow. Like the sand painter connects. I feel like that's art. That's creation. It's, uh, intelligence. It's like a map. It's, uh, connecting the dots somehow. And, um, almost like patterns in your mind patterns of thoughts and putting them together in one source that it's um, tangible and understood in a moment, like by the subconscious, like symbols. Um, I hope that made sense, what I just said. All right, I'm gonna go to the Art of Life Tarot and get another card for the day. On leadership, interference, working around interference, um, finding power in what you've, you've gone through. Um, I still feel like it's this firing up the left and right hemisphere and your higher and lower chakras together somehow, and that's creating balance. It's moving you to a better direction, the hermit. So Number nine, it's moving you to nine. It's moving you to completion. It's moving you to a place where you can turn on your own inner light and be good with it. The Hermits could also be a Virgo energy. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. So when you have interference and everything all around you, um, it starts with going inside of yourself to change that interference that's like mirrored inside of yourself to create peace and quiet and stability, you know, something calming. The hermit um, is not afraid to go out and venture on his or her own a little bit because that adventure um, brings you to a place where you find what's good for you. You find your own inner light. You learn how to turn on your light. You learn how to face your fears. You learn how to see in the dark. You learn what's good for you. You learn how to meditate and find answers of truth inside of you, 
not outside of you. And when you find those answers inside of you, they turn on that little light bulb. They turn on the light and you only need a little light inside a room to find your way out. You know, maybe this is taking off of that blindfold. Um, this quote is Marcus Aurelius and it's solitude watching the horizon at sunset in the hopes of seeing a vessel. Tristan de Cunha in South Atlantic detail by Augustus Earle, 1824, National Library of Australia, Canberra, Australia. It's like his dogs hanging out with him, her, it could be a her in this. I feel like it's dark, you know, you're just waiting to see something awesome, you're chilling by yourself, you're thinking about everything you went through, you're finding a place where you're quiet, you know, and you're finding peace here. You're finding leadership here. You're moving away from interference by going inside of yourself first. I'm going to pull one more card from the Angel Tarot to bring um, just a summary to this reading. I hope this was helpful for all of you guys. I think it's about going inside first, inside of us, finding our own inner light so we can work away from this interference. You know, we can find all of that energy we put into something being valuable, creating a map for us, a way to see out, a way to see things differently, um, a way to bring us leadership in our own selves. All right, one more card for the day. And that's the Queen of Air. So seeing things clearly, possibly an air sign, you know, um, a Libra a Gemini or an Aquarius, but this is, I feel like in the general readings, it's always advice and wisdom for us. So it's that also feminine part of power, that feminine allowance, you know, that understanding that you have to work with things and allow things to be sometimes and work with those energies best you can. Um, compassion and love. I feel like she defends the truth, you know? She sees through bullshit right away. She sees clearly the future because she's sometimes, you know, been through some hard things. The Queen of Air has seen some stuff. You know, she learns from seeing other people go through things. She doesn't want anybody to hurt anymore. So sometimes she's a little bit cold and she does have the armor on a bit. So maybe it's time to just Take a little bit of the armor off so that we can warm this day, warm this future up a little bit. You know, this is somebody also independent, kind of like the hermit, experienced, realistic, and witty. I feel like she's always sort of funny, maybe sarcastic a little bit, but sees humor in a situation even when things kind of suck. You know, she's like, meh, that's the way the cookie crumbles kind of thing. But now look at the strength I have. You know, I had to climb the stairs because the elevator broke, but now I have some badass butt muscles. You know, she finds a way to make that situation great and strong rather than dwelling on what didn't work. Like, you know, the elevator broke. So what? Make it work. Um, you know, take that chance to do something different. If you can't go up the stairs, you know, you do something different that day. You go to a different building, go a different direction, and find something new. You go on a new adventure for some reason because the elevator broke. You meet somebody new because you went through a different exit, you know? It's finding another way through, even when things aren't working exactly how you planned. So objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and seeing the humor in a situation. You know, making light of things. Feeling that light on your face today. I feel like there's so much light here. I feel like there's creation here, and it starts with becoming clear in our minds, connecting to our heart, um, taking off of our armor a little bit, and I feel like she is starting to see a map, you know, see things clearly. Things are unfolding. 
see her strength, see his strength in a situation, but allowing situations to unfold so you can gain that strength. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.